Hello, guitar players. Today we're going to play a classic, Runaway. Stick around for a second. All right, for this song, it's a good oldie. We are going to be playing it in open with no capo whatsoever. And the chords that we're gonna be playing are going to be A minor, G, F, and again, you can play your F like this. You can do a double up here at the top, or you can play the bar chord. Which for these purposes, I'm gonna be doing, I think I'm gonna probably just play it like this this time. And then you're gonna have an E. So basically that's all you're gonna be playing through the entire first verse. But right now, before we do anything more, we're gonna concentrate a little bit on that intro, which is a pretty neat little lick. So basically you're gonna be in A minor chord, you're gonna hit the A string. And you're gonna do this little trill thing where you're gonna come, you're gonna go down and you're gonna hit every string. And when you hit every string, this is gonna be every string below the A string. And you're gonna come back up and you're gonna hit that E open. So it's gonna be like this. Now here's the neat part. So now you're gonna lift your ring finger up, and you're gonna go open E, third fret G, open string second A. So we're gonna do that really slow. Then when you speed it up. Okay. I encourage you to practice that over and over again. And uh, once you get it down, it's really fun to play. And if you can do that, that'd be really great to impress your friends and everything, because it's really not that hard. It's just a lot of repetition, just getting used to the fact that when you come back off of that, when you hit that open A, that stands as the uh, downbeat for the, for the repeat of that pattern. So again, it's like. Okay, for the verse, it's going to be A minor to a G to an F to an E major. And the strum pattern is going to be like this. You can kind of hear that 50s groove going on. Okay, here we go. So when I got to that E there, you don't have to do that, but it actually goes along with the beat. It's, a, it's another one of those things where you want to try and keep as much beat as possible. So all I was doing was going. It's all downstrokes. And it might be a little bit challenging for you because you got to come out of that pattern and then go back into. So it'd be like this. And I encourage you that if you can't get that down, you can always go. You don't have to do that. Second part of the first verse, the G. Now, when I do that, oh, those downstrokes, if you want to do that, all I'm doing is lifting up and on with my chord. So it's going. I 
and there's a little bit of palm muting going on down here in conjunction with that chord. Now this is what's really neat about this this uh, song is that you know it starts off in A minor, but then when you go to the chorus, it goes to A major. So we'll just come out of that and show you how that works, and then we're going to have. I forgot to mention that we're also going to have an F minor in there as well. So my apologies on that. And that uh, bar right there, that's F sharp minor, sorry. F sharp minor. So coming out of that, you're going to be going. I'm a walking in the rain. A major. F sharp minor. Look at that again. A. F sharp minor. And then it's going to do the same thing, but it's going to do the staccato. Okay, so what we're doing there is we're just going palm muting all down strokes and lifting up and off of the chord. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you could come out of that E going into that chorus and be going. Now I'm going to show you how you don't have to do the staccato. Basically, when we came out of that A to that F sharp minor several times, we're going to go D to an E to an A to a D. Run, 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 run away. Get that E, in, e major in. Now we're going to go to the solo that everybody knows about, and all you're basically going to do is play another verse over that solo. So it's going to be... Hey, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And if there's a song that you want to learn, make a comment down in the comment section. And don't forget to check out some of these other videos I think you might like.